Ladies and gentlemen, this is your fellow paisano in the house, Mr. Reno Zabri, and welcome to another edition of Couch with Reno Z. Before anything, put a like and subscribe to the channel. I hope everyone enjoyed this new year, which is June 2nd, and, uh, you know, had a nice New Year's Eve with the family and everything, and let's hope to have a beautiful New Year. Now, I would like to cover some Calcio Mercado news from Juventus and some changes that might be eventually coming our way uh, in the summer about sponsorship whatsoever. But let's start with Baby Step at a time. Things that I have been saying for a while and things that uh, I'll still continue to say. But trust me, whatever I say, it's never true. Because we can hear journalists saying things, but at the end, it's not true. But they're allowed. Then us YouTubers, and you know, then through my sources, they're pretty much, they, they're right. They could be wrong, but I stick what my thoughts and give what, what I know and what will be happening to come. Let's get into some Mercado news, shall we? Now, as we know... Mr. Allegri said that he is not interested in Hoiberg and uh, Phillips. Well, technically, he, it's not that he wasn't interested in Hoiberg because Hoiberg wasn't going to come no matter what. Because it was a player that Conte wants, because I keep on saying that Mr. Jundoli and Elkin Calvo, uh wanted to talk to him. Plus, it did not make sense for a guy like Hoiberg to come under Allegri and uh, for six months then... It wouldn't work out like what happened with Zakaria, remember? So, you know, maybe it couldn't make sense Phillips that Allegri wanted. But, of course, in that case, it won't make sense because there's no point having a guy like him. And then uh, after six months, then you have to either pay the extra money. And, uh, yeah, then let's say if Allegri is not there, then what? You know, these are all things that, uh, you know, they're taking baby steps at a time. You know, and I know all our fans are hoping to have somebody. I find it hard. Maybe the only guy that we could be lucky to get maybe is uh, Sudogov. Because what I'm hearing, man, oh, I only hope it's not true, but Mr. Bernadeschi is close. I know he was with the Juventus fan whatsoever. But, you know, you know, I love. he likes his returns, right? So for six months, why not give it a try in their mind and then... Aria Fresca, you know what I mean? But I only hope because, you know, I can't stand that player. So, because I know they're focusing on this moment. And let's hope that uh, whatever their decision is about to be made, you know, we have something in our pocket. You know, either it's a Copital or Scudetto. Which I keep calm with Scudetto, no matter what. Because I won't believe it till I see it. They're moving on, Mr. Sandro. Apparently, he doesn't want to end this contract. He wants to stay to 2026. So, I hope it's a no-no. I hope Junto knows what he's doing because you want Sandro to still? Not a chance, guys. For me personally, no thank you because <laughs> we, we need some new faces. And uh, <coughs> I know it's Allegri's uh, favorite son, but... No, oh, thank you. We, uh, I hope he, he doesn't extend, and I hope we bring somebody that can be good for the future. Then we all know, but uh, we've been here about the sponsorship because uh, Jeep is gonna uh, gonna leave, and they're gonna get some new sponsorship. I've been hearing this for a very long time. Uh, not only the American, but most likely the the Saudi, and you know. Uh, if that ever happens, that'd be good for us because, as what I'm hearing between Elkan and company, on one hand, Elkan uh, wants to get these Saudis so and make a new brand and make something beautiful for the future. And in his mind, there's always Platini. But if these Saudis want to come, they want to get Agnelli. But then Agnelli, at the other hand, who knows if he's going to be uh, president or vice president with the uh, Super League, so I don't know if he managed to do both, because they want Kellini back. Uh, he might be one in the 
in the part of the administration zone. So we just have to wait and see. But if the Saudis do come, American, I'm hoping uh, Joe Pesos, like there's no confirmation of that. He is connected with Lapo Elkan and company. So, but with the uh, uh, Arabi, uh, Bill Sa Salama, I heard he's very rich, which he's part of one of the sponsorship, even with Man City and stuff. So, guys, if they ever bring this guy and uh, whatever the project is that they're saving for the summer, all I want is a good project so that we can compete better in Champions League and be stronger than ever. Not just Italy, but, you know, Champions League, then in the future, who knows if this Super League is going to come. Because in the last years, uh, it has been uh, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of fuck-ups. So I hope that whatever the, the decision is going to make right now, it's going to be beautiful and wonderful. Because why keep on saying to people, we can hear all these names coming in the summer. But I keep on saying they're saving it uh, no, for uh, January. They're saving it for the summer. So probably there might be somebody. Besides Bernadeskas alone, which I hope not. But who knows, maybe Sutukov. But we'll wait and see. Because as long as it stands, yes, uh, we can sit here and say that Allegri is doing a good job with the team whatsoever. But for me, if they don't extend his contract, if they don't bring the players that he wants, because they're not bringing the players that he wants. Did you ever ask the question? And these rumors that keep on going with uh, Calvo, Juntoli, uh, what's his name, Elkan, that are in talks with Conte, then maybe Mota if Conte does go around. Because June today, I heard they have even talks with Guardiola. It doesn't supposed to mean that Guardiola is going to come. But that was that's a 1%. But for sure, they, he had talks with Guardiola. I don't believe him coming. But with the fact with Conte, it's been a lot. There have been meetings even during the holidays, like it or not. I know that the Juventino don't want him back. But it could be a good Minister Iscardato, don't you think? Because you really want to leg it for another year if they don't bring the top players. Because if they don't bring the top players, my friend, because he's a good, good management, good gestore, there's no point keeping him, in my opinion. So let's hope whatever the decision is going to make, it's going to be beautiful and wonderful. And uh, let's wait and see, because you can hear the names of Keza and Valvich that aren't sure... Uh, that they're not going to stay in this country. Why not? You hear one hand that he, they don't get along with Allegri. Why not they want to make sure maybe who will be the next coach? I don't know. You ask me. Leave the comments down below. Put a like and subscribe. And I probably might be doing a live maybe Thursday night. Stay tuned after the uh, Coppa Italia. Because starting today there's the Coppa Italia. Then Juventus is playing. So... As the Coppa Italia goes, rumors are saying, well, we're going to find out tomorrow with Mr. Allegri's press conference, that he's going to put the, the B team. So, let's hope for the better we get a win. Because <laughs> if we don't win, I hope this B team go uh, well. Because we've got Nicolis Plaviglia, you know, all these young kids. He yielded. it. So hopefully, he can score two, three goals, you know. And let's kick some ass, guys. Because we already seen the Inter Napoli losing, so let's show them who who is Juventus, per favor. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you, lovebird, soon. Ciao, ciao, e arrivederci.